All right, we got in this uh, Ford F-150 radio control module, and uh, I guess it's a Q201 cold solder joint. Let's take a closer look here. Oh, that was a good shot, see that? So let's... Uh... Well, that looks like some cold solder joints to me. Can we get any tighter? I need some more light. Sorry for the shaky. I'm really trying to get it honed in here. Look at those. You can see that clear as day. Right there. These all look a little questionable. And if you look really close, I don't know, is this showing up? Look at right here. You can actually see where it's been trying to arc across. That's all great. Look at crack here, crack here. This is probably your main culprit here. Okay. Let's touch this up. This is something... I'm hearing people talk about baking it, which works, because that's really what this is, is a solder paste. We float after the part has been put on. I got too much glare with this ring light. Really, uh, really fighting to light it up here for you. That's better. Still a little, a little bit glare, but you can see how a little bit of flux, and you reflow those. And as long as you don't bridge your joints. It's actually a little small for that. So you see how that bridged across there? And there too. So you just want to watch your bridges. Let's turn this thing around and get the other side. Where'd it go? You know what, this side, I've got a big cap right in my way. So I tried looking this part up. I didn't, I didn't find anything. I'd really be interested to know what this is. It's got to be some kind of regulator. Let's zoom out a bit here. We're really tight. All right, now we can start cutting some of this light back. So I had it really zoomed in. You could probably have saw those joints from here. 
So let's take a little look around, see if we see anything else that could be questionable. Move that other one. See this guy. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty decent. It's about average on the reflow. I mean, you can kind of see some of this that looks a little grainy. Like right here, you can almost still see where it's got a, a texture to it. Like it really didn't get just a little bit hot enough. That's our Q201. That thing's beautiful. It's a shame if that's all that takes. See, this is a little grainy here. Because it really wouldn't hurt. I see another zero ohm. We probably don't really have any problems with that if it went open circuit. Bunch of them. Yeah, I really don't expect anything else. Um, those cold solder joints probably wasn't feeding power to one of these chips. I don't see anything cracked, anything broke. This thing will probably be great after this. So as you saw, even even with the hot air, I mean, you gotta you gotta watch. You got caps around. You know, so there's what we were looking at. Q201. You got these caps right around it. So the hot air, it's a little tricky. You just got to be careful. You can cover these and all that. But you see, even with a, a modest soldering iron, you should be able to touch those joints up and get them better. All right, that's it. We're going to call this guy. This is taking him a minute to, to check it. Uh, like, subscribe. See you next time.